Greetings boffins, welcome to the Boffin Lab. I'm Mardor Taran, and this is a nano guide for Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're going to show you a trick on how to tame the manta ray. The manta ray is a lot of fun as a sea mount because it's very fast, it can jump out of the water, and has a pretty good attack value, even though it's not much good at tanking. You'll find that the manta ray is nearly, if not faster, than the ichthyosaurus especially when you start leveling up its speed and stamina. However, as an attack mount, it will always be what you get when you tame it. Leveling up health and attack on a manta ray is nearly pointless. But having said that, at the beginning, a manta ray has about the attack value as a, a megalodon does. So, that means that when compared to the Ichthyosaurus, the, the manta ray is capable of feeding itself. Since it can attack coal, salmon, turtles, and even megalodon with a little bit of practice. The problem with the manta ray and taming it is that it is a passive tame, but the manta ray has a very long aggression range. It will come after you from almost within sight distance. This makes it really difficult to get a tame to work because its attack values do go through even strong flak armor. The best way I've found to deal with the um, manta is to trap it. And this doesn't affect taming whatsoever. It is possible to use ghillie suits and bug repellents to get close to a manta ray without it aggressing you, but you've got such a fine margin for error I don't think this works very well. This trapping method has worked well for me in the past. There are a couple of things you've got to set up in advance though. First of all we have our trap. This is a two section trap. Just to increase the chances that the manta goes into the trap on the first turn. The ramps allow the manta to slide up inside the trap nice and easily and can be wood, but the rest of the trap must be stone. The foundations and the door frames are intended to allow you to access the manta without it getting to you. Notice how the top of the door frames are just above or just below the water. This gives you the most room for capturing the manta, but doesn't let it get over the top of the trap. You won't need to put a lid on it. There's also an additional uh, advantage a little later down the track, which I'll show you then. There's another thing you need to worry about. The manta ray's attack will strip armor from you easily. So I highly recommend you have either a smithy or a beaver nearby and at least one sleeping bag. Probably also some gear to repair your flak armor. The beaver is actually a very useful choice because because of its swimming ability, it can be used to bait the manta ray close to shore and thus and then get the beaver out of the way. This way you've got the manta close to shore where you need him, but he's not going to kill whatever tame you use to use it. The addition of the smithy facility on the beaver makes this even better. You will need angler gel to tame the dino, but you will also probably need a way of swimming quickly. Scuba gear is ideal, but Lazarus chowder in a high swimming value will do the job. Okay, we're going to attempt to bait the manta ray into the trap. You will need some door frames in a slot ready to use because this is how you will close the trap behind the manta. Scuba gear or a high swimming rate will be rather important in this case. You won't be able to do it with a dyno because you are trying to swim through the middle of your trap. Here's our target. Manta Ray has seen me. We now lead him 
Well, this Manta Ray's aggro range seems to be a bit shorter than most. Lead the Manta towards the trap and slide up into it. The Manta, sh well, we missed him. But we might be able to get him this time. It takes a, a bit of manoeuvring to get him into the trap. The manta ray is now trapped within the structure. He can't get out. However, if you leave the area, he will glitch through the wall. So you must stay within render distance. You can now strip off your scuba gear and create a platform from which to feed your manta ray. Now you can get up there, you can put lights. And the manta is just there for you to feed. Watch out, his attack area is actually quite large. So while he's angry like this, getting close is a bit of a trick. But you can just crouch or go prone slowly creep closer, wait for the marker, and give him some food. It's that simple. You now can put lights, campfires, you've got your beaver or smithy nearby to repair your armor if he hits you, you've got a spawn point if something kills you, and this manta will stay here as long as you are nearby. Mantas require angler gel to tame and you need to put them in your zero slot to do it. The gap between the first and second feed seems to be the longest. After that it seems to eat roughly every 30 to 45 seconds. However you can expect to be here for hours if this is a high level manta. The fact that the manta is angry and is attacking the structure is not an important factor as far as the taming is concerned. The wooden ramps are likely to get destroyed sometime soon, but because the rest of the structure is stone, you're going to survive it. I'm not going to make you watch the whole taming process. We'll fast forward to the end and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Would you believe that while I was about to release the manta ray, a megalodon came along and killed both of us? So I have brought up a new one. It's inside the trap as if it had been tamed. Now, to release it, all you need to do is take down a wall or even the entire structure. Your manta is now free. Put a saddle on it, some food, and it's ready for you to ride. The manta is actually pretty fast. This is a low level one, but it's also got this cool jumping out of the water ability. And if you're really coordinated, you can attack a target as you do it. One thing to be aware of with the manta ray. The manta is capable of going into water that it is too shallow to survive. It can continue to progress through that shallow water, but needs to get out before it loses all of its hit points. Essentially, you go into the shallow water, it starts losing hit points. You can hear it doing so. So you've got a time limit to fix the problem. Let's see if I can demonstrate. There, it's taken hit points. And now it's free. 
So I lost about 25% of the hit points on this particular dino doing that. With its jump ability and the ability to go into shallow water, the manta is probably one of the few sea aquatics that can get into the river systems. Though I have to admit, I haven't been brave enough to really try it. That's it for Taming the Manta Ray. Hope you have fun riding this thing. Good luck. Have fun. Keep surviving.